Here it is. My lucky cricket ball. She's been touched by Prime Ministers and bowled through a hotel room wall by Missy. And she's been everywhere this one, but I found her in London. I was in London two years ago and I was having one of what I would loosely term as the worst days of my life. It was just one of those horrible days where you question yourself and you get knocked back after knocked back and I was kind of sitting there thinking, what's all this about? And then I went into a shop and I, I needed a symbol of hope and there it was, she was just sitting there, it was an old fashioned second hand shop and she was tucked away in a little corner and um, she had the most beautiful seams and just was kind of just reminded me of home I guess so I bought it and I've carried it with me ever since. A number of times people at airports have attempted to take it off me through security feeling that it's too hard and could be used as a weapon and even though I tell them it's a missile of peace people they don't listen um, and it's gone so far as I've had to go and sit in a room with the supervisor and explain why I need my cricket ball with me on the plane. If I were to lose my lucky ball, I guess I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably have to write an album about it, I think.